What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. And today, super excited, we got an exciting another Samsung software video for you guys. One of Samsung's best good lock modules was just updated for me. We're gonna be talking about the update to Samsung Lockstar, some nice stability improvements, and also if you don't know what Lockstar does, just hang around to the end of the video. It's a really awesome customization. I'll tell you guys all about it and remind you about what you can do with it today. Before we get started, I wanna remind you guys of all the promotions I'm doing in August to celebrate Samsung Unpacked. A lot of cool stuff going on. If you're ordering a Z Fold 4, a Z Flip 4, or a Watch 5 Pro in August, check out my website. I got free gifts for you guys. Pre-order mystery box. Comes with a free case, a free phone stand, a free cleaning kit. We also have giveaways going on right now. I always post them on my community page. Um, giving away an S22 Ultra at a Z Fold 4. And also, if you haven't reserved your phone or your watch for next month, use my link to get $200 Samsung credit just for reserving. There's no commitment to buy. You get that $200 credit for reserving. I'll drop the link for that in the giveaways in the comments and also the description. Now let's talk about it. So we're gonna talk about Good Lock Module Lockstar today. And this is an awesome module for customizing your lock screen and also your always on display. Now it was just updated for me. Let's actually take a look here at the version number and the update date. It was updated on July 21st, so I guess I actually got this a little later than some other people, but I just received the update yesterday. Version 3.0.00.26, pretty big update, 61.62 megs. Now there are some changes up here in the what's new section. The first thing is fixed the problem that the notification card is not center aligned. So the notification card, meaning your notifications on your lock screen, of course, because it is a lock screen customization app. And it fixed the problem that notification icon color is not applied when you apply a new theme. So that's talking about um, the Android 12 Monet theming that Samsung has tweaked a little bit in One UI. When you apply a new theme, you should get automatic color match for that. You can also make it a static color in Lockstar yourself. So I'll show you guys what mine looks like with Lockstar. Here is my Lockstar setup. Uh, there's a lot of things you can customize here. You can customize your clock, of course, itself, which you can do in the regular settings. You can customize the position of it. You can customize your icons and the position of those. I've got a Gmail icon. You can customize where like your fingerprints shows up, the messages up here, where the lock icon shows up and the other system icons up at the top. And you can set these to custom colors. You see, I've got like a light blue color set on mine. So I'll show you guys really quick how to do that. If you go into Lockstar, you've actually got two separate options. You've got the one for the lock screen on the left and the one for your always on display on the right. And on here, you can basically drag these around it actually shows you, you know, how to center align them and everything. This is my media player. And uh, you can move that around, change some things. You can get rid of the media player. Down here, you can change where the system messages would be shown. You can also go down here, change the color of the system messages. So like if I want them to be orange, now they'll be orange. I can add a sticker to my home screen. You can add lock screen shortcuts down here. Uh, you can change your icon layout up here as well. You can change the notification type from the icons to looking like this here, the old school style. Change the scale, so you can actually make these a little bigger if you want. Transparency, you can change how transparent they are if you wanna make them more transparent. Change the color down here, and you can actually change it using the color wheel to get pretty much any color you want of the rainbow, swatches, or spectrum style inside there. So that's really cool. Um, let me save that, I'll save that and save the color I have. And uh, you can also change a couple of other things. If you go into the Always No Display, you can also modify, change if you wanna show notifications, change your clock, you can also go in here, change the clock style. I often like to try to match up my clock style. It's kind of weird though, some of the clock styles that are available on the lock screen aren't available on the always on display and vice versa, which I find somewhat interesting. I like this one though, save that. And then you can also change inside the always on display down here, your battery charging information. So if you go in here, you can remove the percentage if you don't like having the percentage there. One thing you can't change, which I really would like to see in a future version, is you can't change the fingerprint sensor icon or animation. I feel like that would be a natural thing for them to add. Lots of other companies like Xiaomi have added fingerprint sensor animation changes. You can customize those a little bit. I think that'd be really cool. But you can move these up or down uh, like you can on the lock screen. They can't be moved. They're fixed in position, unfortunately. So this new update made some things a little more stable. First of all, it allows your icons to match with the color. Um, and then the other thing, well, I guess I didn't change my color here. Let me actually fix my color back to blue there that I had before and save that. So you can, it fixes your icons so that if you want them to match with your theme from Monet, 
it will. And then also it fixes the centering because there were some problems with the icons and the clock not being perfectly centered. Uh, of course, you can drag these around and put them in whatever position you want, but I don't think I showed you guys. If you do that, it will show you like the center alignment so you know where it's centered so they don't look off center. There was problems with that before where it wouldn't center them even if you put them in the center position. Anyway, Lockstar is one of my favorite modules. I highly recommend it if you want to customize your lock screen a little bit, give it a little bit of pizzazz. You'll notice that it doesn't theme all the different icons because YouTube Studio is still red, as you can see there. So that annoys some people because it's not uniform, but it does theme the majority of the icons and it does make your phone look a little different. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and the notification icon for future videos like this. Also, please, please, please check out all the giveaway promotions. If you're ordering a Z Fold 4, go reserve it, get that extra credit, get my Z Fold 4 or Flip 4 or Watch 5 Pro mystery box, sign up for it on my website. There'll be more information coming via email so I can get all of that shipped out in uh, the third week of August. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.